What's going on everyone? Uh, before this video actually starts and you hear my thoughts and opinions how I think the moral arc is actually going to end, I want to say something really fast. Around this time last year, one of my relatives actually passed away and if you guys remember that I made a video talking about me having about like a one to two month hiatus actually going to Mexico and spending time with that relative before they passed away. Well, this year in July, it marks the one year anniversary of that relative actually passing away. So me and my family are actually going to go to Mexico and celebrate the one year anniversary over there. So that basically means that I'm going to be taking yet another like one month hiatus in terms of July up to August. Hopefully when I come back in August, I could get straight back into making content for you guys. But in the meantime, I want to shout out one channel in particular, and that is my friend Degra. My friend Degra makes amazing, and I mean amazing, anime reaction videos that you guys should definitely, definitely watch. If you guys are into watching anime reactions or love watching people playing video games and streaming video games, I highly recommend checking out Degra. He does a lot of reactions to, I believe he's doing Baruto right now. He's doing Pokemon. He's doing another anime that I keep forgetting the name of it. It's like Tower of God or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the title of the actual anime, but he's doing those reaction videos over on his channel and they're so much fun to watch. I highly recommend checking it out. And if you're into games like Final Fantasy 7 and a bunch of other multiplayer games or online experiences, he streams those games once a week. So if you're not into the anime aspect, he does have gaming stuff that you can watch he's just an overall a really really fantastic guy i really love watching his videos and i just want to give him a little shout out here so that way if you guys are into my videos most likely you'll be into his videos so you could be watching his stuff while i'm gone and supporting him through his journey he's a much bigger youtuber than i am and i do look up to him for content just because i love watching the diversity that he actually has on the channel but like i stated if you guys want to watch anime stuff while i'm gone make sure to check out channel degra link to his this channel will be in the description or it's going to be on the screen right now for you guys to go check out and support him while i'm gone but thank you guys so much for understanding and let's get straight into theorizing how the moral arc is going to end peace out guys ah uh, yes the moral arc one of the best arcs Dragon Ball Super has to offer, in my opinion, almost on par with the Goku Black arc. But what is it that makes this arc so, so magnificent? It's the fact that no matter how much we know, no matter how much each chapter provides, we don't necessarily know how this whole arc in and of itself is going to end. At the beginning of this arc, we basically thought that Goku was going to obtain Master Ultra Instinct at will. We thought Vegeta was going to get this huge power up and these two together were going to defeat Moro. That wasn't the case. Moro beat Goku without him actually even, you know, standing a chance against Moro. And then Vegeta's new technique, although it was cool and it was very, very helpful, it is being basically portrayed as useless at this point with this new fusion that Moro actually did once he actually absorbed his two henchmen, that spiky weird looking dude, and 7-3. So the main question at this point is, after this latest chapter, is how are they actually going to defeat someone like Moro? Moro at this point seems to have so many tricks up his sleeve that no one really knows how this whole thing is going to end. Now, there are theories out there obviously that state how people think this whole thing's gonna end and for me i'm gonna list three of those theories that i feel like might actually be happening in terms of the ending of the moral arc so without further ado let us jump straight into it with the number one theory that has actually been coming up now ever since the last chapter and that is the potential of fusion versus fusion not necessarily vegeto or gogeta although in my opinion that would be mind-blowing if they bring back those characters i feel like they wouldn't bring those characters back just because it's already been too early for that because obviously we already had vegeto within the zamasu arc or the goku black arc and then we just had gogeta with the dragon ball super broly movie so i feel like it'd be too early for them to actually bring out those fusions not to mention akira toriyama is not a huge fan of using fused characters like that what i mean by fusion is majin buu now within the moro we do get to see that he absorbed 7-3 by eating him as well as the spiky weird looking dude by you know just blasting him and <clears throat> absorbing him maybe we might actually see Marjan Boo do the same thing but instead of doing that with like Moro or someone he actually absorbs Goku and Vegeta because at this point Goku and Vegeta alone are very very powerful 
Z fighters. Like, I really don't know if anyone's ever going to actually be able to match them in strength. Obviously, Goku, with all the training he had with Mirus, he could obtain the Omen of Ultra Instinct at will, which is very, very powerful. And then, obviously, there's Vegeta with his spirit control and his new ability to suck energy from people who've been stealing energy. So, if he could have those two people within his body, as well as have his own magical abilities of healing and doing stuff like that, that would be a huge huge powerful character to go up against Moro and a lot of people have basically been speculating that this might actually happen because at the beginning of this arc we know that the only one who was able to grab Moro and put him in jail was the Grand Supreme Kai and obviously it would make a lot of sense to start this with Majin Buu and the Grand Supreme Kai against Moro and end it with those two fighting again because we only saw a glimpse of what Majin Buu was able to do against Moro. We didn't necessarily get like a actual conclusion to that fight. So it'd make a lot of sense for them to end it off with those two clashing. And heck, who wouldn't want to see Majin Buu absorb Goku and Vegeta? That would be really, really, really dope. Hopefully that happens. The second one, which is the one that a lot of people are talking about in terms of the overall theory of how this is going to end, is Mirus. Now, if you guys have not watched my other video, I'm going to just explain it right here. It looks to be that Mirus has actually grown a bond with the portals of Universe 7, and he might actually be breaking the Angel Law to defeat Moro. The Angel Law basically states that angels have to remain neutral within a fight between two individuals. They can't be on the side of good, helping the good people and they can't be on the side of evil helping the villains. They have to remain neutral no matter what happens. A lot of people are speculating why Whis didn't fight Broly within Dragon Ball Super Broly. That's why, because of the Angel Law. So, a lot of people are saying that Mirus has actually grown a bond with the mortals, especially with Goku, because obviously they were training within that hyperbolic time chamber to obtain Ultra Instinct. And even within some panels, we do get to see Mirus' face when Goku's getting beaten up. And he is extremely scared for Goku. He's basically like, yo, we need to go in there and stop this. If not, these mortals are going to die. And Whis stated we cannot intervene for any reason. And Mirus' face was just dumbfounded. Like, how could you just let a bad guy just ruin or possibly wipe out the strongest mortals and Whis really just doesn't care he's just there to do his job and Mirus sees a whole different side of things at this point and a lot of people are kind of speculating that maybe he's just going to break that angel law and defeat Moro and then probably get erased by Zeno or have a huge punishment coming his way by the Grand Priest and this is kind of more making sense at this point i would say because of the fact that within the latest chapter when we actually saw you know moro versus vegeta as well as moro's new fusion slash transformation we didn't get to see anything from Whis, beerus or even miris like we didn't get to see what they're up to i believe that uh Whis as well as beerus we're gonna go get food but we don't necessarily know what Mirus is up to. And I feel like this is actually foreshadowing the fact that maybe once Moro just beats down on all the Earthlings, Mirus might just come in, swoop in, and just end Moro at this point. Because that's exactly what Jocko was stating. Because he doesn't want to captivate Moro. He just wants to find someone who's actually able to kill this man because this man just overall is a huge threat not only to Earth, but to the entire universe and possibly even more universes at that point. So... Mirus being the one to end this arc would be so insane just because of the fact that I want to see how he would actually destroy Moro because he's an angel so I'm guessing he might actually be willing to overpower Moro at this point. We've seen that he is faster than Moro because he was able to catch Moro within like that string stuff that he had on his watch so it'd be crazy to see how an angel at full power faces off against a villain as well as what happens to an angel when he actually breaks the angel law. That's the second theory. The third theory, which a lot of people just don't even know. Those are like the main two ones. But for me, a third theory is just bringing in a new character at this point. Like, if no one is able to stand up tomorrow power-wise, the only other option that there is is to bring in the tank himself, Broly. Now, this would be an amazing way to introduce Broly into the Dragon Ball Super manga because obviously we didn't get him within the manga. We only got a couple of panels of his character introduction as well as Chila and Lemo. We didn't necessarily get to see like a full on Broly introduction, but introducing Broly at this point would be phenomenal. He could come in and be a hard 
hitting tank against Moro. And at this point, there really is no need for Moro to actually absorb power because he's already absorbed as much power as he needs. So Broly could literally go in there and fight to its heart's content. And especially since Broly is just unwilling to just destroy stuff, this would make perfect sense for him to actually step in right now and actually face someone like Moro, as well as to gauge Broly's power against an actual villain rather than him facing off against Goku and Vegeta, who are quote unquote, the strongest mortals of Universe 7. So if they bring in Broly right now, everyone would be hype. Like, I don't feel like Broly is going to defeat Moro, but it would be really, really cool to see how a fight between someone like Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, goes against Moro, one of the most legendary villains we've ever seen before. That's just a quick little theory, but I don't think that Broly is actually going to face off against Moro. Out of the other two theories of Majin Buu observing Goku and Vegeta, and then the other theory of Mirus breaking the Angel Law, which one of those two do I feel like is the most likely to happen in terms of the ending i would have to say mirrors breaking the angel law because a lot of seeds have been planted with mirrors character that he's actually growing a bond with universe 7 that it would make the most sense for him to be the one throughout this whole journey to want to capture moro just to realize that capturing him wouldn't be enough he has to destroy moro for not only earth but the entirety of universe 7 I wish we could get Beerus and Whis in there, especially Beerus since he's the god of destruction. He should be the one defeating people like Moro, but if Mirrors does it, I'm alright with that. But at the end of the day, what do you guys have to say about this? Which theory do you think is the most plausible to actually happen? Majin Buu absorbing Goku and Vegeta to face off against this new fusion of Moro? The introduction of Mirrors defeating Moro and breaking the Angel Law? Broly coming in and possibly standing a chance against Moro or what is your own particular theory that you actually have in terms of this overall arc and how it's going to end I'd be really 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 excited to know your guys' thoughts and opinions but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy this type of content make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe for future content and yeah I'll catch you on the next one peace